Okay. So uh, my name is Lisa. I am with the Concord Art Association and I've been with you guys before um, for some of these art classes. And today we're doing collage. So hopefully what you have in your supplies is some sort of glue or like a Mod Podge or a, a decoupage. Hopefully you have, you should have some scissors and a brush, a pencil. You should have your, the heads printed out that I gave everybody, okay? And some, um, some papers. You can have a, a magazine, uh, catalogs, or just some colored paper, construction paper. You could have maybe an old book that you can use the paper from inside. We're gonna create a collage with all these papers. All right, and so here earlier I had the, the quilt and I wanna tell you a little bit about this inspiration art that we're gonna be working from or we're gonna create a collage that's similar to this, inspired by this. Gwendolyn McGee, Gwendolyn McGee. She is a African-American artist from, uh, I think she was from North Carolina. She was alive from 1943 until 2011. And she did a lot of really wonderful artwork. And this piece right here, can you see what it says? It says, lift every voice and sing. And you see it's a lot of um, faces and they're opening their mouths and they're singing and they're all around a globe, the earth. And so the idea is that every person in the world has a voice. Every person in the world um, has something to say. And if we all work together and sing together, it's a really wonderful thing. And uh, even today, many of you might have been watching with your families. Today was our inauguration for a new president. And he spoke about unity. And unity, it means everybody working together. Everybody has a voice and everybody can sing. So we're gonna make a collage that's inspired by this image right here, a bunch of people faces singing around the world, okay? So start cutting out colors from your magazines and you can cut or tear. So here's an example. Here's a catalog with a lady in a blue shirt. I love this blue. So I'm gonna tear and random pieces, just random bits, little squares and bits. It doesn't matter, we're gonna collage them all together of blues and greens and browns and just keep cutting for a few minutes okay keep turning the pages and looking for more colors and oh i really like this color this purse has a pretty look for nice patterns that's the beautiful thing about collage is that when you're cutting scraps of paper and and you're cutting up catalogs and magazines you can find all kinds of interesting colors and patterns and when you cut it away, all you see is the pretty color and pattern. You don't even know that that was a purse in a catalog once. Now it just looks like a really pretty pattern. So those are great um, pieces to cut out for your collage for your earth. So just keep going. And I wanted, while you guys are cutting, keep cutting, uh, Lift Every Voice and Sing is actually inspired from a song that was written over 120 years ago. And the song is called Lift Every Voice and Sing. All right, let's find some more colors for my earth, my world. Oh, I kind of like those hearts. I'm gonna come back to those hearts. Here's, some, here's a little bit of green. Here's another nice piece of green. Okay. Once you have a nice little pile of, of papers, I'm gonna get just a, one more right here. And we're gonna start arranging them in our circle to make something that looks a little bit like the world. And just overlap the pieces. Collage is meant to be a little bit messy. 
That's what makes it really fun. It's a little bit messy. So just arrange your pieces right inside your circle or right, maybe take it right to the edge. Okay. And just keep going around with your pieces. And just before we glue it down, we just want to look at it, kind of see if we like it. I'm going to, and sometimes maybe make a little balance. Like I have some pinks on top, so I want to put my other pinks down here on the bottom. Balance that out. I've got some blues over here. Maybe I want to put some blues on the other side. Balance is a really important part of making art. So once you think you have enough, if, if you have some gaps and you run out of strips, then you might cut a few more. Or you can also cut things a little smaller to fit in little nooks and crannies. All right, and, and so now I think that's a good first layer. So I think I'm gonna start gluing it down. Now you can put your, you can use your brush and dip it right in your jar if you have a jar of your Mod Podge or your glue, or you can pour it, I'm gonna pour it into my little plastic lid. Okay, because it's just a little easier to see what I'm doing. And you want to make sure you don't have anything that's too gloopy. Sometimes this glue gets a little gloopy. So if you have a little gloopy bit, you want to kind of move that off to the side because that's a little harder to work with. Sometimes there's little dry bits that get in there. It's no big deal. Just move it aside. You have a nice, have a brush. I, my brush is kind of a medium size. And now we're going to start um, brushing and gluing. So here's the, here's the technique for collage. If you haven't done it before, get a little bit of glue on your brush, pick an area, paint the paper, and then put your little piece of color down on top. And then go around, pick up the piece of paper, brush the glue underneath, and put the piece of paper back down. And overlap it a little bit, just like you had it. Put a little glue and add the paper. And if it's lifting up, you can just go back under with your brush and pat it down. Okay, a little bit of glue, add your paper. Glue and the paper. And don't worry about being perfect because we can add more on top to fill in any gaps. And we can always um, go back and, and add more on top even later after we finish, after I get off the phone with you, we can go back and make adjustments. And that's the thing about collage is you can keep adding stuff on top and covering up what's underneath and you can change it. Um, I do recommend collage is easier with small pieces of paper. You know why? Because then you don't get too many bubbles from the glue. Sometimes the glue and the paper want to make kind of make creases and bubbles. It's a little easier if you're working with small pieces. I'm happy with this. It's I, I like my colors. Um, that's the, the nice thing is you can pick whatever colors you want and make your earth look however you want. I love collage because it's messy. I like messy art. Messy art is more about, more about feelings to me. That's what I like about it. I feel something when I look at these colors. And I really love that purple. So I'm gonna put a little, I ran out of pieces. So I'm gonna cut a few more. I like this lady's purple shirt. Catalogs are, uh, clothing catalogs are really good for collage. And, and those are the things that we always throw away. You know, our, our parents probably get a whole bunch of them in the mail. And um, once you look at them, maybe you buy something and then you throw it away. And those are really great to hang on to for a little while to use for collage and cut them up. Because your clothing is so colorful. So it's great for collage. I got a lot of extra purple in here. I'm gonna, put, now notice how I'm putting, I'm kind of running out of space. So I'm gonna start filling in a few little gaps on top. And I'm, I'm balancing my purple. I got some purple over here and I put some over here. I'm gonna put some over here. I like it. Feels like I need a little more green. 
I'm going to look back in my catalog for just a little more green. Let's see if I can find some. Ooh, I like this. See all the colors stacked together? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that. Who knew that a stack of sweaters or t-shirts folded up would look so cool? Look at that. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that right in here. Whoops. The other tip with your glue and, and or your Mod Podge is not, is don't put too much on the plate. If you run out, then add a little bit more because you don't want it to dry out before you're, you're ready to use it. So don't put too much out there. Now, once you have, once you feel good about all of your gaps, I got a little bit more green I want to put right here, right in here. Then if you want to, you can go around and just kind of check all your corners and, and, and glue them down. Dig that brush underneath the corners if you have a few things lifting up and just pat them back, back down. It's also really helpful to have a baby wipe or a wet paper towel handy. Cause so if you get glue on your fingers, you can, um, you can, you can wipe it off and then, then your, your fingers won't stick to everything, right? So I feel pretty good about that. And I feel like everything is, is glued down pretty good. If you have a little bit of water in a jar or a cup, it's a good idea to take your glue brush while you're pausing this step and put it in the water and just let it sit in the water. That way it won't get sticky. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, set this aside for just a little bit and let it dry. If you're still working on your earth, that's okay. Does everybody have the little um, printout of the little heads? Okay. Um, you can use the faces on the piece of paper that you were given or you can cut and you can cut them out and we can use these faces in the collage in whatever colors. Mine are printed out in black and white and so with little shades of gray. Yours might be printed out in color, I, I'm not sure. So you can cut them out and use them just like they are or you can cut them out and trace with a pencil, trace the head on to some bright colored paper. Now when you're, um, so this, that's what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna trace, I cut out a head and I'm gonna trace it with a pencil onto this bright orange paper. And here's what I want you to think about with all these faces. Who are these people in your life? Who are these people that you want to be singing together with all their voices? Maybe there's one face for everybody in your family Maybe there's a face for all of your friends or your, all of your classmates, your neighbors, or maybe it's just uh, a face that represents all the different parts of the world. Maybe you have a face that represents a different countries. So you get to decide what those faces mean to you. Now it's a little tricky to cut them out at over here where the nose, it, it kind of takes a nice small pair of scissors and a little bit of patience to cut out the nose and the lips. So just be patient, go slow and cut around those lines. And then you go under the chin and down to the neck. And I will show you one more technique for tracing and maybe one of your grownups knows how knows where they might keep this in the kitchen if you're if your mom or dad or any grown-ups in your house have parchment paper in the kitchen it's just like aluminum foil or plastic wrap and you use it with food parchment paper is what we use for baking in the oven but it's also really cool for tracing and transferring and you keep working on cutting out your heads but i'm just going to show you this I'm gonna take my parchment paper, which is see-through, and I'm gonna put it on top of the head, and I'm gonna trace with my pencil around the outline of my head or my face. And I'm gonna 
trace it nice and firm with the pencil and get a nice pencil mark on the parchment paper. Now guess what? Parchment paper is, is non-stick, right? You use it in baking so the cookies don't stick to the pan when you bake your cookies, right, in the oven. So guess what? The pencil's not gonna stick either. So you could take that, turn it over so the pencil is against a piece of paper and you take your, um, like a popsicle stick or a coin or even your thumbnail and you rub the line, you rub that line, you hold the paper steady and you rub that line all the way around. And what you're doing is you're pushing that pencil line off the parchment paper and on to the pretty orange paper. And that is another way to trace. And, and transfer, look at that. You see that? My pencil line came, most of my pencil line, not all of it, but most of it came off the parchment paper and I rubbed it right onto the orange paper and now I can cut it out. Okay, so now just spend a few minutes tracing or cutting out faces and make them whatever colors you want. With collage, you can do, you can get wrapping paper, like gift wrapping paper for your birthday presents. And you can, you can trace and cut out pieces from gift wrapping paper. You can collage with, like I said, magazines and junk mail, anything that has bright colors and interesting patterns. I love this. You know what this means? This, this, you also wanna think about what it represents. A bright pink color, what does that mean? I think it means happy, right? So maybe that person is really happy. And, um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe this person likes to read. And, or you can even think about it culturally and think about the color of your skin, right? We all have different color skin, different tones, different shades. And so maybe, maybe that's what it represents, which I think is what the original artist was doing, right? She was representing people from all around the world with all different shades of skin. And it's all, they all have the same face and they all have the same voice. So there's my, there's my face cut out of a um, book page. So make, you can have as many faces as you want. Um, you know, you can have five faces, maybe 10 faces, however many you think will fit. And, and turn them around, have some going this way and some going this way, right? And you want them to all be singing together and start laying them around your paper, around the world and deciding, maybe you want them to overlap a little bit like this, or maybe you want them to be separate. You can turn them sideways, you could turn them upside down, whatever you want, just just make them singing all around the world. But again, I recommend that you place them on the page first before you glue them so you can see how you like it. Yeah, you always wanna get permission before you cut up anything. Make sure that it's paper that is meant to be cut up. So you see, I have a lot of different colors here of bright paper. Maybe you have some different colors of paper too. What kind of... Um, what kind of song do you think all these people are singing together? Maybe it's your favorite song. Maybe it's a song that you listen to in the car when you're when they're on the radio. Um, I kind of like these two. No, I think I, hmm, hmm. Now I can't decide. I think I like those two together and I like the black and yellow together over here. So if you do have some markers and, and you've got a dry spot, I was going to suggest after you get your faces placed down, you can draw on your faces if you want to make eyes and nose and you could even draw an ear and hair. You can do whatever you like to, to decorate your faces. And you can also draw around your world and you can make, um, you can, you know, draw a more circle around it. You can make stars or maybe other planets. Um, and uh, so absolutely, when everything's dry, take your markers and, and have fun. 
Now, you might want to leave room for some words. If you remember that quilt actually had the words lift every voice and sing. And what I would suggest, that's kind of a lot of words. Um, I kind of like more faces myself, but you might think of one word that once you have this up, like what's the word you think of when you look at your collage, your own collage, forget about the inspiration quilt for just a minute. What do you think of when you look at it? Do you think family? Do you think unity, people, working together? Think of, think of what this makes you feel. And then you could, you could write those words on your, on your collage, or you could look for the letters in your magazines. So like woman, like this magazine has the word woman on it. Uh, this magazine has lots of big letters and numbers that, that might work for you. Maybe look at this word right here on this catalog, it says free. Maybe I'm thinking of freedom. And so I could just need to find it, the rest of the word, right? So you can look for words and put and cut them out and then string them together. Here's the word all, right? The word up and two are good words for a sentence. Um, the word best is good. So you can actually, the word dreaming is great. This says dreaming of spring. Um, so there's lots of, of words in your magazines and catalogs in the titles that, that might be perfect to cut out and make your own sentence on your collage to, to, to talk about what this feels like to you, what it means to you. I think I need a blue face. I'm kind of an even Steven kind of girl. I think I like three and three for my faces. If your glue gets a little dry in your um, plate, you can um, you can just wet your brush and add a mix in a little teeny, teeny, tiny few drops of water and mix it in with the, the white glue or the um, uh, Mod Podge and um, it'll get better. It'll be easier to work with. So for my faces that I decided how I want to put them, I'm just putting a little bit of glue in the middle. I don't want to add, put too much glue in, in all over the place because I want my paper to be dry in the middle so I can maybe do some drawing later but I'm just putting, just making sure the main part of the face, and then I can go back in and, and get the little edges with the brush afterwards. And then that way I know that I'm not spreading my glue too far. The other great tip is the end of your brush, instead of your fingertip to press it down, you brush the glue and then turn your brush over and use the tip of the handle to pat it down and then you don't get glue in your fingers. Okay. Has anybody thought of any special words they wanna look for later to add to their art? I'm happy with how mine's looking. You see that? But definitely I think I wanna decorate my faces. I first I thought I liked them plain, but now I think I might wanna add you could even put people's names on the faces and it could become almost like a family portrait. Now I've got my marker. I was thinking that I might take a blue marker and um, like make a little, some little dots to go around my earth just to sort of make it stand out. Maybe, maybe put a heart on one of my faces, right? I could put some eyes and an ear <laughs> and some hair like that. Oh, don't forget the nostril for the nose. You see that? I could draw maybe uh oh well what, what what's happening on people's faces right now in this day 
is a mask, right? Huh, that's a good thing to draw, to, to uh, draw that mask. And that is, then you'll know for sure when you did this collage, it was during, during COVID when we all had to wear a mask. And you could color it in or maybe add some, some little designs to it. I gotta make, make his ear better. And I'm gonna put a bunch of little dots and flowers on this mask. I like that one. I put a few little flowers on it. So I'm just gonna, I wanna switch one more time over to the original inspiration piece. How's, how, does, how does your piece look? Do you, do you feel like you captured the essence of this quilt, the inspiration? Lift every voice and sing. Do you guys like to sing? Do you sing in the shower? You sing, you sing in the car? All right, well, I'm gonna uh, wrap things up and say good night. It's almost five o'clock. And I wanna thank all of you for spending some time making art. Creativity is so important. It's so important for your brain and for your good mood. And I, I appreciate all the different ages that are here. I know we have some older kids and some younger kids. So I hope this project was, um, was fun for everyone, all ages. And hopefully you learned a few new techniques about collage and maybe you'll make some more. <laughs>